Can a rabbi who takes Maser Ksofim, a tenth of his income, to tzedakah, compute the amount based on his take-home pay after parsonage is taken off, uh, the housing allowance given to rabbis, or does he have to compute it based on the entire take-home pay before parsonage is taken off? This is a question that was asked from one of our rabbis in New York, and in his case, actually, the amount taken off for parsonage went directly to his rent based on the arrangement with his employer. He never saw that amount. So can one do this? Now, actually, there's a debate in the post skim about the amount that one uses to base the one-tenth off of. To some degree, it has to do with the model in which this master is based. It's not an idea that's in the Gemara or in the Torah. It came up in the 13th century in Ashkenaz because we didn't have, therefore, crops, so it was a tenth of the money. And there are different models. Is it a type of a Meister model, a Tzedakah model, a giving back to God model? And that determines a number of questions, particularly what it can be used for. In terms of the amount on which to figure the master, there were also debates. Rav Moshe Feinstein says that it only applies to your income after income tax. Why? Because he said that is the only money you ever see. That's your take-home pay. The rest you are never going to see. You are never going to earn. As opposed to money you pay in property tax and sales tax and the like. Another position is that of the Tzitzel Yezer, also backed by Rav Avad Yosef, and Rav Avad Yosef quotes many others, which is, look, since this is really a minhag and not a strict halacha, there's a lot of latitude of which model you want to go by. And if you want to adopt a model that you're going to take the tenth from your income after household expenses, that is a totally legitimate practice. If you've got a different practice, you might have to do Hattaras and Darwin, but that is a legitimate practice. So I think that Rav Moshe won't help you here. Even though this money was taken off before he got the check and applied, that's not Rav Moshe's point. Rav Moshe's point is that you are never going to see the money that has to go to income taxes. That was never going to be yours to keep. Here, the person could have kept the money and applied it to different types of housing. It's his choice to use it to apply to his housing expenses. But the Tzitz Eliezer's approach is completely relevant and it has nothing to do with parsonage. It's a way of taking Meiser Ksafim after household expenses has been taken off from your income. And this is what I advise people. And I say, look, Meiser Ksafim might be hard to do it when you're just getting started based on your income and your reality with your kids and so on, adopt the model that works. Do it with after household expenses. And later you can always reassess if a different model makes more sense at a different stage in your life, but it's a very powerful practice to do and you should do one in a way that can work for you.